Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? I realize I have not done a junk journal video in a while, so I just wanted to show you what I was working on. And this actually is so much fun and it's very brainless. So I can do this just standing at the kitchen counter, watching TV, or just kind of hanging out with my family. And if you get interrupted, it's no big deal. So what I did was I got a grocery sack and just cut it and made it into a master board. And the way I came up with my pieces was this. I have to tell you, I have done basically two master boards and it still looks like this and I don't understand it. I like mentally can't understand why this pile is not going down, um, even though I've used scraps and scraps of it. But if you have the answer to that secret, would you please let me know? Because I don't understand how I can take out a big old stack, make a massive uh, master board and nothing happens to this. It just doesn't dwindle at all. So anyway, that's just a little bit of a complaint here, just from me. I'm not gonna go too far into it. I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I do it, but I just wanted to kind of point out a few things on here because it's there's a lot happening here, folks. So I pretty much glued down pieces of paper. Sometimes they overlap and sometimes they don't. I kind of like the grocery, grocery sack showing through and then I stamped on top of it and I also put gold paint. And this is why I wanted to do this in the daytime so you could see the gold paint kind of all through it. Honestly, I'd love to wallpaper my walls with this, but um, yeah, people might think that's a little too crazy. All right, so anyway, back to this. I'm gonna show you how I do that. And then I want to make some um, like journaling cards out of this. So just stay tuned for this part, or I guess you could fast forward. You, you don't wanna miss this though. All right, so what I did was I have a stack of some coffee dyed and ink, like I we use fountain pen inks myself and my husband, and so I have some ink dried uh, papers. Basically, I just submerge them in water and then the ink just goes and it, it looks quite beautiful and goes on to other pages. And then I put some gold paint because gold paint just makes everything look better. And that's the only thing I'm gonna add other than my stash of scraps. So this is a bag from a bakery and it's okay if, and here's it says cakes, and it's okay if it rips because you're going to be gluing this down anyway. So let's start over here on just one end. And literally what I do is I work on it a little at a time. Like I mentioned, I kind of work on it here and there. That's just how things go at my house, like making dinner or, you know, things like that. And if I'm waiting for like a pot to, I don't know, boil, <laughs> you don't want to stand there and watch it boil, but that's all I do. I just grab a little bit of my Elmer's glue and then I work on it one section at a time and I literally grab my pieces of paper and then I start and this one I, I was gonna say I don't really have any rhyme or reason but I again I want some of the paper bag to show so I'm working with that sometimes I just stagger them a little bit and then I just tear it off wherever it's ending. And, oh, well, that's pretty. It's a music sheet. So we'll just plop that down next to it. And then I leave a little bit of it unglued here so that when I go into the next section, I can have a little bit of overlap. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, or you can, it doesn't matter. And these are just scraps and pieces from other projects. So I just take them and put them down. And I literally continue to work. And if you need a little bit more glue, because if I'm like standing and talking or doing something, then you can continue on. And that is it. That's that's how I made that entire master board. And really, if you're just kind of standing around chit-chatting like this, uh, I can't push this because I've got a 
bouquet of flowers there. All right, there we go. If you are just standing around and doing some of this, it really does go very, very fast. And uh, anyway, so you can overlap if you want wherever you feel like. So that's, that's how this goes. And now let me show you what I am doing. Whoa, knocking things around. All right, so you'll see that I, okay, I'm gonna start here. So this end kind of looks like what I just did. So these are in strips going north-south direction, but I just took some washi tape also and then glued that down and glued down some strips that are going east-west so that this paper becomes bi-directional. So it's not just in one way. I mean, you can use it in multiple ways, so. All right, so will this fit on my board? Kind of yes, kind of no. Will it? Just a little bit too. Yeah. All right. So what do I want to do? I'm just going to cut a piece. I, I want to make some journaling cards. And so I'm just trying to figure out like what size. This looks good. I'm so excited to cut into this. All of this took me like, I don't know, maybe two, three days to do. And, and that not like full days, just intermittently. So that was great. All right, so now I have this. I think it's like a little bit more than 12 inches, so I can probably do a good four inch cut. Right? Could be doing it this way. What am I doing? Okay, so at the top of mine is, I don't know, do I even want to measure? Do I care? Yeah, I'm going to try and keep it a little bit consistent. There's one. Yeah, that, that looks pretty decent. There we go. Three, the third one's just a tad bit longer. Well, maybe a little bit too long. But, you know, I'll know for the next one. And so what I did was, as I mentioned, some coffee dyed and some ink dyed papers. And I am going to now. I'm going to go this way make this a little bit smaller and then just glue that on the back and you could have you know you could have gone this way so that I guess that would have been that would have made sense to have it that way but again this doesn't necessarily have to have a direction at all so I'm going to do that that in and just for the sake of this video, because this glue dries way faster than the Elmer's, we're just going to and if you could hear the racket in the back, that was my dog drinking water and his collar kind of clanging against the water bowl. It always sounds like the school bell ringing. There we go. So there's a journal card. And I wanna show you this one because it has a hole on the top. And I am gonna to need to grab my hole punch. So you can see what I'm doing. So at this point you can, you know, even if this is too short for you on the journal card, you can add a little bit of paper down here or even overlap or do something else. But let me, there we go. Whoa, sorry about that. If you're asleep, you're not anymore. So I just use the binder paper holes to just create a hole punch and just utilize this the way it is. And you can just take a little piece of fabric 
or some twine and make that into a cute little journal card. Or maybe take fabric and twine. Don't know, that piece was way too small. So there we go, that looks better. So that's it. There's my journal card or a tag. You can also trim off the edges, just clip them a little bit here and here. And then it looks even more like a tag. You know what would be really fun is if you did a master board like this with Christmas wrapping paper and then made them all into Christmas like gift tags. So you could work on this and you know, just here and there, it just, there's just some magic about gluing paper and uh, using like a big grocery sack and it's got the craft paper feel and then all this gorgeousness here. But I, wouldn't that be fun to do a Christmas tag like that? Or you can use your leftover birthday wrapping papers and do it like that or use uh, scrapbook papers that you have that are Christmas or birthday or something like that or just generic like this and use them on gifts or you can put them in junk journals. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's short, it's sweet, and it is just a lot of fun. And again, there's just a lot happening here, but it's just so much fun to be able to, you know, put a button on there or whatever and use these cards in many, many different ways. So until next time, bye.